I have a little DV freebie for you, a hero section with an animated wavy divider. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use and customize it. Hello, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. In this short video, I would like to show you how to use and edit a free hero section layout for DV, which you can download from our DV Lover website. Let's have a look at the demo page. Uh, let me share my screen right here. So this is the first version of the um, hero section layout. This is the wavy shape uh, that um, I wanted to share with you. And we've uh, prepared two versions of that layout, a simple one and a bit more uh, complex one with two separate shapes, one for the wave and another line shape. Mm. Now, uh, if you rather learn how to create this animated wavy effect from scratch, check out my previous video where I explained this step by step. Now, once you uh, download the zip file from our website, uh, you will find two JSON files inside, one for each version. And these files need to be imported directly on a page. So right here, when you are inside the builder, um, you would uh, use the import functionality right here, go to import tab and then select the um, JSON file and choose uh, import DV builder layout. And that's it. You can start customizing. Obviously you would want to change your text, uh, the image, but to change the color of that wavy shape, let's look at the structure here. I have a row with two code modules. Uh, in each code, there is the same SVG um, wavy shape <laughs> um, code. And to edit the color, you would go to the row settings, uh, advanced, custom CSS. And right here, let's just show the preview. Right here, what you would want to edit is the fill property of that in that first uh, declaration, you would just change the hex code right here to a different color. And then obviously make sure the following section uh, uses the background that matches that uh, shape. Mm. So that's one thing um, you may want to edit. And if um, you decide to duplicate that wavy shape further down the page, all you need to do is duplicate that row right here. Let me show you. If we um, place that row here and let's add an empty section uh, at the bottom um, with, let's go with black background um, and let's add some height to it just so that we can see it. So right now the divider um, the row in the row settings, the color of the divider is still purple. Uh, so back in the wireframe uh, view that uh, row right here in the row settings, advanced custom CSS. If we check the page now, if I change that fill color to black, I have um, a new uh, animated divider, but you see they are identical. So a quick thing to, um, to, um, to differentiate them a little bit so that they don't animate in the same exact way, you could play with uh, the animation keyframes uh, or the timing, but a simple thing uh, you can do is to add animation delay property with a negative value of something like negative three seconds. And that would uh, move the animation basically started a bit sooner so that they are not exactly in the same uh, exact uh, moment of the animation. And that just um, uh, creates a nicer effect. And a uh, very similar story with the second uh, JSON file. You don't even need to uh, open the importer uh, tab right here. You can just find the file on your uh, computer and then drag it here. And let's replace the, that previous one. And I would just uh, quickly show you uh, 
very similar thing happening here but like I mentioned we have two animated shapes here so looking at the structure I have one row with SVG wave and a second row with SVG line uh, let's go into the wave uh, row settings let's preview here again advanced custom CSS that first property uh, first uh, selector here we can change the fill to a different color and for the second uh, row again row settings advanced custom CSS it's not fill property that we want to edit but it's um, stroke okay so let's say uh, that line should be uh, yellow which we barely see but uh, hopefully that shows how easy it is uh, to customize okay so that would be all from me for now thank you very much for watching i hope you will make a good use of uh, this layout as always if you have any questions feel free to get in touch Thanks again and see you next time.